Hi y'all, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moomings. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really well. This is for our number twos, the wisdom of the hidden realms. And I wonder what spirit would have to say to you today. What does spirit have to say to the people who picked number two? The arrow master hitting the mark. So you're going, what is that? Well, hitting the mark is when you do the right thing or you do it the right way. Um, when you live it with intention, when you make a choice with intention, you are hitting the mark. When you can look back at your day and say, I did a good thing, when you help someone, when you love yourself, those are all hitting the mark. When you yell at your dog, probably not. Mind you, I've yelled at my dog, which is why I'm calling myself out. That's not my hitting the mark, not by far. And that's why the arrow master is so important in our life because he assists us in help, helping find the mark. We all have an inner arrow master. We all know what is the right thing to do or to say. We don't always do those things. I don't always do those things. I should have worked today. Instead, I cleaned my house. It's really clean and it smells good. But I didn't get the work done. Did I hit the mark? Mm, maybe because I did get some of it done and I'm going to do one more thing before I go to bed. But overall, did I hit the mark? Probably not. Am I ashamed of this day? No, but I didn't hit the mark. Our next question is sisters of the seasons. These are cycles of growth. This is natural law. So, you're thinking, what do you mean by sisters of the seasons? We go through seasons in our life. We go through seasons of our month. Sometimes seasons of years. It just depends upon what we're referencing. For example, when you're a child, you go through seasons of school. You go through, for, you go through elementary school, middle school, junior high, high school, college, and then you work. And that's a different season. And you have a different season when you have babies. So they're all seasons of our life. And while we're in those seasons, we should be hitting the mark for that season. So I've raised my kids. That's why I have pets. But we should be trying to hit the mark in whatever season we're in and relish the season we're having. I enjoy the season of my life. Do I want to go back and have babies? No. I had four great babies. I relish the season where I'm at. Now, mind you, I would like a few less wrinkles, you know, maybe get rid of this. But really and truly, relish your season. Enjoy it. Okay? The eyes of beauty. It says positive expectations and clarity. So sometimes the beauty in the, is in the eyes of the beholder, my mom used to say. And that is so true. Have you ever noticed someone who is in love with someone else and they're like, oh, he's so good looking. And you're like, really? Because he's not your type. That's why they say that. But there are some things that are intrinsically beautiful. A baby smile, a tree, I was gonna say a ladybug, but I might be the one that sees that and you might not. A spider web is beautiful. I think we should be celebrating and enjoying everything that is made from nature. That's beauty. Beauty is love. Beauty is butterfly kisses. So 
but see things through the eye of eyes of beauty. That also means to see them through the eyes of the divine. When you see something through the eyes of the divine, you see them with beauty. When I see someone and I recognize that divineness inside of them, I'm not seeing their dirty clothes or their wrinkles or whatever. I'm seeing them through the eyes of the divine. And finally, this is the Swan Queen. And this is all about transformation. This card is saying to y'all that your life is going to be transformed as you learn to hit the mark, as you learn to live with intention, as you learn to see the lives of others, see the beauty in others. Namaste, y'all. If y'all want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. Go ahead and send me your pendulum questions to 405-512-9400. And guess what? On January 5th at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, we are going to be doing a YouTube Live. I will answer your pendulum questions, and there's going to be a drawing for a free 15-minute reading with me, of course. And, of course, go ahead and like my YouTube channel so you never miss another reading or another video again. Bye.